I swear. Do, 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 do. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna die from licking the whiteboard. Yeah, Chloe licked the whiteboard clean. Last her, week, last week, spit. last week we decided that um, nail varnish remover worked for cleaning whiteboards. Yeah. I found out that my own spit works. But that's, yeah, that's stinking. I'm probably not healthy. Like, please. Don't copy me. Because not only did you lick whiteboard marker, but you probably also licked the remains of the nail varnish. Varnish Did Uh, it taste okay? Yeah, it just tasted like nothing. I don't know. Just like licking a wall. Have you ever licked a wall? I've licked a wall. I have now. I've licked an outside wall. An outside wall? Like Like a a brick wall. Why? Just. Actually, now you mention it, I do know what bricks taste like. (laughs) So I must have licked a wall. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, hello, welcome to the Skit Twins podcast. We were meant to do one last week, but we decided that um Oh the screen changed. Um but we decided that there was nothing really exciting happening last week and that this week was more exciting so we would have more to talk about and I think we do, but we might forget some of it and then come back round in circles. Chloe, what are you doing? Apparently that's what we do. I have found guitar picks and I'm trying to be like Mr. Bean, you know the way he uses the mat sticks to keep his eyes open? But yeah. guitar picks aren't big enough. Yeah. Who was it who said that they listened to our podcast? It was somebody from the acting thing. Oh, it was Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for listening. Um, but yeah, we were in London on Monday, which feels like ages ago. I don't know about you, Chloe, but to me it feels like ages ago. Yeah, like this time last Sunday, I was like, I could just stay in bed and not go to London. But then I remembered that I paid for it. And... <laughs> If you didn't show up, you wouldn't get reimbursed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good. We were a wee bit late, but we were only like 10 minutes late, which wasn't bad. Yeah. And we hadn't really started yet by that stage. So, Well, they, no, they had. They had, they had. yeah. Because um, I, I remember asking a question at the end and they were like, oh, yeah, I don't know if you were here for the bit, but I already went through it. And I was like, oh, well, now I feel stupid. But at least you weren't there. And then asked that question. Like, you're the to, be fair, to be fair, I could have been there and just zoned out because honestly, I was that knackered yeah. from like travelling. I think just... it was just the sort of pressure of like, oh, flip, we're going to be late, we're going to be late, we're going to be late, we have to get this tube, oh, we have to get, oh, come on, quick. Like, kind of. Yeah, and then the tube was delayed as well for some reason. Or was Fun that on the way home? I don't remember. I can't remember. I know that at one point it stopped and then it was sort of like, this is your driver speaking. We have been delayed. On oh no, was that not the train? No, the train was delayed on the way back, but then the tubes were delayed as well. All right, okay. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, London was fun. Acting course, fun times and friends. And we got to go to the BBC on Monday night. Oh, we're just going to the BBC. <laughs> so we had. Does that make me sound posh? Or does yeah. that just make me sound stupid? <laughs> Sort of a mixture, mixture, of, <laughs> mixture of both. <laughs> um, so that was fun. There was some nice free food and some nice people that we got to meet. And lad, I was more buzzing about the free like soft drinks because like they're like ninety p for a can of like diet coke now. I'm and really rich and I only got one. I, I got really... it for free. We should have just taken another and just kept it in our pockets. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, I we took have... our coats off and put it in the bag drop thing. We should have stocked up. Always, if you're ever going to a BBC uh, launch event. If you're going to anywhere with free drinks, just grab a couple. Bring a bring a coat or a handbag. Handbags are handy. Yeah. Use a use a big handbag and then just line it with plastic. And then whenever you walk past the wee like breadsticks and cocktail sausages and stuff, just grab a handful and drop them in your bag for the way home. Maybe have a wee freezer bag just to stop. That's why I said piece. line it with plastic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, London's good. I quite like London. Um... Even when it rains, it's all right. I don't think I could do London full time. No, definitely not. I, I like the countryside. Before. Yeah, it's too loud and busy, and uh. it's all right. It's manageable. People, people are more polite than I first give them credit for. Yeah. But I also I almost got run over by a bus. I never told anyone that. I came really close. I followed this guy across the road. <laughs> I was there. And he chanced it. He chanced it. He ran across the road and I, ran, I sort of saw him go and I was like, ah, I can go too. So I was about a step behind him and he just made it onto the footpath. And then I was like a millisecond behind him. I saw the bus come on and I genuinely thought I was gone. 
<laughs> and he kind of reached out like he didn't touch me but he kind of reached like flung out a hand and was like are you okay yeah like but, you know the way like, you do that does that make sense like you put your hands out like you're so close to them but you're like still not invading their personal yeah, space but yeah. it's kind of like are you okay but there were there were no words exchanged just sort of panicked expressions and sort of like a nod and a smile and then sort of like we went our separate ways i think just like a nod to say we cheated death there yeah <laughs> i think we bonded from the experience i should have got his name but anyway solid guy um I think that's the closest I've actually ever come to death <laughs> on roads, and I have had a lot of a lot of near death experiences, but I think that was definitely the closest. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrifying. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was um, Monday and Tuesday. Did anything interesting happen on Tuesday? Not really. We got to be be um, fire <laughs> and wind. And whenever she said I want you to be like wind, I honestly was just gonna like fart. And just <laughs> whenever we were talking about you're gonna become fire, I was like, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> I thought movement workshop was dodgy, and then it actually turned out to be not too bad. And then whatever this was called, I don't know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it was just weird. I don't know. Like everyone else seemed to sort of get into it. And I was sort of like, I can't do this like I know, fire is like, an inanimate object and then we started talking about wind and my geography brain kicked in and it was like what way does the wind blow and i was like well wind blows from high to low pressure <laughs> at 90 degrees to the isobars <laughs> i like that voice can that be your educational voice please yeah i can <laughs> but i didn't want to say it out loud because i knew everyone would be like what i heard i mean look, we showed our nerdiness on monday oh, yeah. we um we were talking about earthquakes and tsunamis or whatever and everyone was sort of like yeah um i was on the beach when the tsunami hit and we were like mm, no you weren't <laughs> because if you were <laughs> yeah because we had to we had to role play dead. we had to role play i didn't know how to describe this art like that's why i was sort of like oh, do we do it but i don't know how to describe it but we were working like we were doing like a role play workshop monday and we had to pretend that we were in like a tsunami so we had to like create characters yeah so it was um actors can work with companies and organizations to sort of help with training yeah so if you work with the red cross then they do sort of like emergency like emergency relief. training like emergency relief. relief training yeah so they would have like a bunch of actors in a room and it would be right all you actors you have just survived a tsunami um so like you're going to be traumatised, you're going to be injured, blah, blah, blah. And everyone has to create, like, a character with a backstory and what happened, how they were there, how, like, what has happened to them. And then the Red Cross people have to come in you and... You basically kind of have to make up just, like, a whole story. Like, a whole, like just a backstory, really. And, but, yeah, everyone was sort of like, yeah, I was on the beach whenever the tsunami hit, and we were kind of like, mm-hmm. <laughs> if you was on the beach, girl, you'd be dead. <laughs> I felt so mean because one of the sort of leader people of the acting course, they they were like, oh yeah, okay, so I'm going to pretend to be a Red Cross person coming in to help assess the situation. And I went full on like, have you got a disaster management strategy? Like, what? where were the warning systems? Have you got a satellite phone to contact re like outside aid? Does the government know what's going on? And I was fully bombarding her with all these questions and I knew she wouldn't know how to answer them, but I was like... <laughs> Yeah, I can do this. I'm in character, but really, I think I was just being a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was just sort of like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm a geography nerd. I I'm Yeah, because our characters were both um, geography, geography students, students, obviously. <laughs> but we were, we were in separate groups for the actual, like, drama play out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my, I was like, sort of like being the serious person who didn't want to let her emotions show, who, who's been strong for everybody else. And everyone was sort of like, I was sort of like, so where were you when it happened? And they were sort of telling me and I was like, hold up a wee minute. No, you can't be there, okay? Because if you were, you'd be dead. <laughs> so where were you when it happened? And just started again, just like from apart the their story. <laughs> I mean, come on, if you're going to do it, if it, was re if it was an actual situation, not even like real life, but like a real life drama exercise with the Red Cross, you'd need to have that sort of stuff, right? Because it messes up your entire backstory if the start of it isn't right. Yeah, I was the person that just wanted to help and I was like, you okay? Oh, come on, chill. It's okay. Calm down, right? Panicking isn't going to help anything. And everyone was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I mean, like, geography's happening and... <laughs> 
Like, nothing's, like, no one was prepared for this. What's going Like, my main issue, like, my character's main problem was, why was there no warning system? <laughs> My character's Why main were people issue not is, educated? My character's main issue is... Well, like, crap, geography just happened. Which everyone else is like, I'm really worried about my family. I'm really worried at this, me. I think my character's just kind of excited that geography's <laughs> happening. Was, your, was it you, not you that was like, I'm like low-key worried that I lost all my notes in my hotel? <laughs> no, that was you. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that's such a me thing. <laughs> That is so me as well. Like, natural disaster happens and there's like people dead. And it's like, my notes! Not even joking, I still do that. Like, I have a wee booklet of like uni notes and stuff that I did. Would still carry that with me in a fire. I would still go hunting for it and just be like, my GIS notes. <laughs> Paul Mackenzie would be proud. What did we do on Tuesday afternoon then at the drama thing? Um, Was it not fire? No. no. Fire and wind. It must have It been... was with other Chloe. That's all I remember. Oh, audio description stuff. That was quite fun. That was quite interesting, I thought. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Um, it's a hiccup. I, I never know. Do you excuse people for hiccups? I don't know. Do you bless people for... When do you bless people? Because I don't want to give out blessings to everybody. Like, <laughs> As if you're the Pope or something. <laughs> I'm not the Pope. That's the problem. The Pope can go bless everyone. Does the Pope not... Well, men, women, children, dogs, whoever he wants, he can go out and bless them. Does he I have a limited number. <laughs> Does the Pope not only bless Catholics, though? Can I get a blessing? I'm pretty sure he just blesses everyone. Can it's I get... just like, you know, the Pope doesn't discriminate. So I Surely, get... is, it like, is it not like Christians are supposed to like love everyone, okay? So that means they can bless everyone. So I could be blessed by the Pope. Wait, does that mean atheists can't bless people? So they can't say bless you? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think blessings isn't necessarily a... 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 a religious thing, is it? Or is it? I don't know. I took so long to find that word. Um, but yeah, uh, audio description. It's a lot harder. I think if if you're if you're with someone right now, and you've never done audio description stuff before, try it. Like have a conversation with someone, but then stop every time you move, and like describe your movements because I've never done that, and it's just like. Yeah, I open my arms and my palm is facing towards the roof in a questioning way and my elbow is bent and my eyes, my eyebrow, one eyebrow is slightly lifted and it's just, there's so much to think of because it all sort of like builds up a picture. Yeah. Like you could miss out like a crucial thing, like if you're asking a question, yes, it tells it in the voice, but then, or else like you could be like, oh really? And if you don't, if say you narrow your eyes, and yeah. someone's someone can't see that, and the audio description doesn't Mention tell you it. that, it doesn't so it doesn't seem as shady. Yeah, like we sort of worked on, we did our own audio description for ourselves, um, and what we were doing, and then we also did it for, for describing other. other people, which I think it's easier to do it in yourself because, or maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. It's just easier. I felt awkward. I think I I don't know. Did I describe other people? I can't remember. I think it's weird describing other what other people are doing. Yeah. Because you'll pick out wee things that they're doing that might be they, like a nervous tick or something. Or the, yeah, or something <laughs> that they just sort of like. They did like by accident. Subconsciously doing maybe. Yeah. Whereas if you're doing it yourself, you're like making big gestures and you're like, oh well, I blinked there, but that was just. That's like, not there important. Was, there was yeah. something in my eye, kind of thing. Whereas, like, someone could keep, I don't know, like, fixing their hair or something out of, like, nervousness, and you'd be like, you fixed your hair. You fixed your hair again. Oh, that was a fun thing we did. We had to basically describe what the other person... No, right, we'll just we'll just do it, and you can... I don't know. See what you make of it. You're wearing a blue jumper. I'm wearing a blue jumper. You're wearing a blue jumper. I'm wearing a blue jumper. You're wearing a blue jumper. I'm wearing a blue jumper. You're wearing a blue jumper. I'm wearing a blue jumper. You're wearing a blue jumper. You're nodding your head every time you speak. I'm nodding my head every time I speak. You're nodding your head every time you speak. I'm nodding my head every time I speak. You're nodding your head every time you speak. You're nodding your head. I'm nodding my head. 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 Okay, right, you're just leaving too much. This is going to be boring for people because you just let it go on for too long. I was waiting for you to do something interesting, but you're not a very interesting person. No, but that's why you just go for, like, clothing. Yeah, but that's what we had to do. We had to keep going back and forward. 
went back and f- like just like that for like five minutes. It was just picking up, picking, picking apart ever like each other basically. I think my favorite one was you're standing with your hands folded in front of your crotch. <laughs> 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 and then I did that, and then I was like aware of it, and I was like, I am not saying that, and then I put my arms behind my back instead. It's okay. At the end, I was I had to be like, you're fixing your bra, and she's like, don't no, just scratch my back, and I was like, well, I can't see where your hands are behind your back. <laughs> my mind just went to bra. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you're listening to this in the car with like other people. I don't know. Don't be af- don't be ashamed of a bra. <laughs> we talk about farts, peeing, and bras here. Um, but yeah, that was fun. That was London. Yeah, we came back on Wednesday and went to the gym. You know, standard. I think actually the gym like helped my tiredness kind of. I was okay for a while, and then I was like, I want to go home now, please, thank you. But also. Yeah, I, I also agree. I Do you want to helps. drink? Me? Yeah. No. Okay. Your throat's getting progressively croakier. Oh, is it? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, it's going to get colder this week, so it'll probably get worse. Yay. Need to stock up on some vitamin C. Continental air is coming from the east, and it's going Is it coming from the east, cold. though, or is it coming from the northeast? I'd assume east or northeast. Sort of... <laughs> A general mix of both. What kind of air is coming to this? Continental. What kind of continental oh, air? Yeah, right, there's there's tropical and Arctic. No, that's from like up above Iceland. Oh flip. Um I know this. I can do this. It begins with Don't. P. No, Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite there enough. <laughs> Continental air. Polar continental air. We need to do a geography podcast and teach people geography. We, we should. Um, if you would like a geography podcast, please tweet us with a gif of some balloons. No, some polar bears. Some Cause that balloons. Because that was going to be my hint to you if you didn't, if you couldn't get polar. I was Were gonna you be just like, going to go, <laughs> <laughs> That was just a polar bear impression there, guys. Pretty sure that was pretty solid. Sounded kind of like a cotty. <laughs> With a sore throat. Are you saying that I'm a coy with a sore throat? You just called me a coy. I say you sound like a coy. That's, that's not much better, is it? <laughs> right, let's move swiftly on to the rest of our week, shall we? <laughs> so, Thursday and Friday, we had a lovely bit of work to do, which was fun. Acting. Starting at 5am. Yeah, so we were extras on... A show about dairy and females. Some girls, yeah, yeah. So, it was dairy girls, guys. We were we were extras. We're not saying anything about the plot. Mainly it's the final episode. Are mainly, we allowed to say that? I think so. Well, you said it now, and I'm not editing it out. Um, but yeah, it's it was it's fun. It was it was really good crack. Apart from the tiredness aspect of it, because it was five to seven both days, Thursday and Friday. Yeah, or, five, or near five, enough. I should say five a.m. to seven p.m. Because five to seven, it's like two <laughs> so hours. Really, so it'll be like two hours. It's not that much, but yeah. Um, and you're on your feet pretty much all day. And that's how we're so croaky because we had to shout. Yeah, we were shouting for about seven hours on on, a, yeah, <laughs> on Thursday, on, on and off. And then on Friday we were all hoarse anyway. And then they were like, Come "Right, on. we need you to we need you to do this again. We need to sh- need you to shout for this wee bit." We were all like, Are you "Really?" Yeah, we were like, Are you uh, not mine? <laughs> And then yeah, I think that that's whenever they decided. You know what? We're just gonna mind today. <laughs> I think we've got all the sound we need. Because yeah. I think even if we had been mime and talking, I reckon most people would be like, I think we're just going to be like, talking like this. Sorry, I said if we were going to be mime and talking, yeah. if we were going to have to talk for yeah. like background noise, then we would just be croaking. But they're lovely people on that show. Yeah, I they're, really enjoyed they're it. They're dead on. I'd love to work like properly as an actual actor rather than an extra. It's a good start. Yeah. I think my favourite bit was the guy who went, getting ready to shoot and rolling. <laughs> but then <laughs> me and Judith were just the crazies, I yeah. think, in between takes. Because we would have just like stood together and just either sang, danced, we got wee flags. So we would have done sword fighting or like slapping each other in the head or drumming or... It was something. really, it was more to keep warm yeah, than anything else because it, it was, was quite very cold. cold. And you're stuck in, an, in like a costume and you can't alter it. Once, yeah. it on, once it's on for continuity. So on Thursday, 
I was rushed out because my costume had to be changed last minute because they didn't think it was 90s enough. So it was changed and as they were trying to find the perfect outfit, I, like we all got the call to set. And so it was just like a rush. I didn't get to put on a base layer or anything. I was just stuck in a short sleeve t-shirt and a denim jacket. And some nice leggings. And some nice leggings that wouldn't stay up. Yeah, you had a bad time. I got to wear my own jeans and my own boots and then just... A uh, cute wee cardigan and a coat. <laughs> So I got to keep my base layers and stuff yeah. on. So it was quite cold on Thursday, but Friday... But then I kept giving you hugs and yeah. then I gave you my base layer. Everyone thought that was really cute. <laughs> I was just like, would you stop whinging? <laughs> I wasn't whinging, I was just shivering. And then I was also kind of like, if, if Chloe gets sick, we won't be able to go to the gym. But you're the one that's currently sounds sick. I'm not actually sick, I'm just, I just have no voice. Like, it's not a major issue. Yeah. I do cough the odd time, but... That's just because you remember it's croaky and then it gets scratchy. You do have that's an infection. I just shouldn't speak. <laughs> Great day to do a podcast. <laughs> I did manage to sing quite well in church. I was quite impressed. I, I think I managed to sing better today than I have done over the past couple of weeks. <laughs> but yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we like just sort of messed around and then every time they, they shouted, Rolling! Before they shouted action, they, they shouted rolling three times and we were like, rolling on a rip. And we just sort of made up songs and danced and everyone... We got like almost the full way through Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Which was good. But everyone, everyone started commenting on how we were having such great crack and we were like, honestly, just trying to stay warm. Got told by a nun that we were great crack. Not she, a real nun. She was dressed up as a nun. Anyway. I don't know what her name was, but I called her Sister Mary. Sister Mary. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's almost Christmas. It is. 37 or, sleeps. You know, for some other people, it's miles away from Christmas and no one should be talking about Christmas yet because it's not Christmas. So. Well, okay, right. Well, it's 37 sleeps on Sunday the 18th? 17th? 18th, I think. 18th of November 2018. I always... Although I suppose it doesn't matter in the year because on the 18th of November, <laughs> it's always, always going to be 37 sleeps till Christmas. Um. I said that I wouldn't start getting excited for Christmas until around the 20th of November. And I still stand by that, even though we went to home base last weekend and saw all the Christmas decorations. Just kind of a family tradition. We go to home base and we see all the Christmas decorations and that's whenever Christmas starts. That's, that's, that's the start of Christmas. That's whenever the jingle bells start. But it wasn't as good this year. I don't think it was as no, good. No, I think it was just because we weren't actually specifically looking for anything. I think it was just sort of a quick whip round and I was kind of going and going, it's not Christmas yet, it's not Christmas yet, it's not Christmas yet, it's not Christmas yet. So I think that kind of dulled my mood a bit. Mood. Mood. <laughs> mood. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get to go back and properly enjoy Christmas things. I like Christmas things. I like Christmas things. But it's not Christmas yet. Next podcast can be the start of Christmas. Wait, okay. when will our next podcast be? The 1st of December. Sweet, that's that's the perfect time to get Christmas. Or maybe it's the 2nd. Well, it's December. It'll be December. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that'll be like just before we go to London again. Yeah. We'll try, we'll do one anyway. Yeah. Week. Even um, if we do an extra sleepy bonies, 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 I really want to. Can you clip that bit up? <laughs> I will try. So I can just. <laughs> <laughs> so on set we were about to go for another take and it was um we had to walk we were just like sort of background stuff we had to just walk down a road and whatever we were chatting about we cried laughing we, we were properly tears streaming <laughs> down our face we couldn't stand up it was something i said it was some stupid thing that i said and you were like judith what are you talking about and i was like is that not right and you were like i was about being one miss <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to know if we shared the same womb and the same sack. <laughs> yeah. I think you called it a bag. Because <laughs> we were talking about how, like, what was it like if if your mum was a smoker and then how come only one of the Wayans would get asthma 
Or would only one of the brains would only one of, And then you were like, well, yeah, one of them could only, one, like, maybe one of them, won't, like, maybe only one of them would get asthma. I so, so messed that up. <laughs> maybe only one of them would get asthma because we're in different sacks. And I was like, if we were in different bags, then why are we roommates? <laughs> <laughs> it's not as funny now no. but it was I think I suppose it was maybe just sleep deprivation yeah. Um, but yeah we were on the floor and then they started shouting getting ready to shoot and we were like we're gonna have to calm down we can't walk past all these cameras just laughing um, so yeah we managed to calm down because we are actors yeah we're professionals we got ourselves into the zone um, but yeah it, de- it definitely warmed me up it was, it was, it was so much I don't think I was sweating at that point yeah. laughing so much <sighs> Sorry that that wasn't as funny as we built it up to be. I hope you did find it funny though, even just a little bit. On a more serious note, um, Ireland played New Zealand in the rugby last night. And we made history. We did. We say we, um, Ireland. My boys. Yeah, proud parents. (laughs) My wee Johnny. (laughs) Excuse me, Jacob Stockdale was amazing. We're not going to turn this into a rugby podcast, but basically we just had to m- mention that uh, Ireland beat New Zealand in, in the rugby at home. Sorry if you're a New Zealand listener, but um, you know, um, you do have a good team. Just yesterday wasn't your day and green is now the new black. And you're also very lucky that there was no yellow cards. Farting in public. That's a hard thing to do. Unless you really need to go. It's not really actually, it's pretty easy, you just sort of have to, it depends actually, if you're in a situation where you can't walk away. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where you sort of have to, it's pretty tense, like, but do you, do you sort of like look around and sort of like look at someone else and sort of be like, did you do that? I just own it, I just kind of pretend it didn't happen. I stare people out, like if I'm talking to someone, I will just keep eye contact with them. (laughs) (laughs) Do you smell that? (laughs) This is me marking my territory. (laughs) This is what I'm capable of. <laughs> That's what I'm going to think the next time I do that. <laughs> but what would you do if you smelt someone's fart? Would you sort of like be like... You just, or would you just you sort just, of be like... You generally try not to react, I think. Is that not the sort of yeah thing to do? You just... Unless it's you in public, in which case it's just like... Did you fart? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that. We just nudge each other and kind of raise an eyebrow. <laughs> it's like, what? And just... <laughs> It's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just do the wee smile. Like. <laughs> do a wee coy smile. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah. I always get nervous in bathrooms when I need to fart. <laughs> it's really echoey in there. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Because <laughs> you do it and then you have, to, you have to have that shame of walking out of the bathroom and you know, you know that there's someone in that bathroom that's heard it and going, person who comes out of that stall that was you <laughs> they just wait to see who it is because i've done it oh, <laughs> i really? just give my hands we extra watch just like that noise did not come from that wee woman <laughs> oh that's unreal i've never done that i have to admit i've never well no it, it was it was an accident i ended up like getting like sticky stuff all over my hands so i did have to take like an extra long time washing my hands and then she just came out and i was like <gasps> no way was that you but yeah it was I think we did this in another podcast, Fart and Run, wasn't it? Yeah. Listen to that and let us know if we've repeated ourselves. Um, now it's time for the Northern Irish Phrase of the Week! It was, uh, yeah, so it's mine, and it was something I used a lot during the rugby yesterday. It's just, come on, you boy, yeah. I thought it was, go on, you boy, yeah. Well, it can be either. Yeah. And what does it mean? It basically it's just sort of like, go on, my son. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I quite enjoy saying that. Boy, yeah, because I just don't. I don't know. I don't use it. I only use it for like rugby. Yeah, like that's something really time. Or else, like if someone's, if you're watching, I suppose if you're watching athletics or any kind of sporting event, that's sort of when you would use it. Yeah, I don't think you'd use it. In it's just kind of cheering someone on. Yeah. On, on, go on, my son. <laughs> <laughs> um, childhood memory. Do you have a childhood memory? Are we gonna? Um, I can probably think of one. I'll go on to my other story. What's your other, what's your other? Um, the nativity scene. Oh yes, yes. You do that, I'll try and think of a childhood okay, memory. so uh, we were sitting in a cafe, just me, Judith and Molly, and there was a wee old lady sitting next to us, and she was a wee bit stiff. And she let us know she was a wee bit stiff. And she was getting ready to leave, and she got up and she was, oh, 
oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. And we were sort of like, oh, okay, right. And then she got up and she chatted away just a wee bit and then she walked off. And I sort of, in my head, I, I, I could, a joke was forming. <laughs> But I just needed to wait for the the uh, like the right moment, and the wee old lady she got herself up and she started chatting to us, and I felt really bad because I wasn't really listening because I was like, this is a belter of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I have to remember this, and uh, but anyway, she walked away, and I sort of waited for a wee minute just in case she'd stopped around the corner or something to like stretch because she did seem a wee bit stiff, um, but I waited and then I leaned in and I was like, mummy, mummy. She named everybody that was at the nativity. I don't think I've ever seen Mum laugh as hard at something you've said. She told me the wee. She told me I was the wee green prod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that was the role you could play in Dairy Girls. But yeah, have you thought of a childhood memory? Um, the only one I can remember is um. Oh, where I should write that into Simon Mayo's confessions. Um, anyway, uh, I was at church and you were at home because you had the chicken pox and the children were called up to the front and I was up at the front and I was lonely because I was like the youngest one there and then I sort of zoomed out. <laughs> I didn't realise everyone else had come back to their seats until halfway through the first verse. <laughs> <laughs> so I belted up the pew, <laughs> thing to my seat and ran round and then I realised that that wasn't my pew. <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to go down and find daddy. <laughs> it was just a mess of a day. No, it wasn't even. It was mummy or Colin Sinclair or someone because daddy was at home with you. Because we came home and then you had the, the top lifted off the video recorder. Because the videos wouldn't go in, the videos kept popping out. And it was because there was a spoon in the video recorder. <laughs> well, it wasn't me that took it off. I don't think, like... No, yeah, it was Dad. That's okay, because I was, I mean, like, you... five at the time whenever I got chicken yeah, pox. Like, me a, just sitting with, like, a screwdriver, which is okay, Dad, I, I've got this. <laughs> it was just, um, I said that Dad was home with you, and then I came home and you said it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Dad was like, how did the spoon get in there? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was... The night before, I was, like, sitting eating a yogurt or something, and I had the spoon, and I was like... I can't be bothered to put this away, so I said it in the thing. And then you'd clearly gone to put a video in it and pushed it right in. I have never owned up to that until now. It's okay, I don't even remember it. Do you not? No. I remember, that's quite a vivid memory for me. Um, well, running up and like swinging around into the seat. I remember that and then I remember coming Was home. Was it Des's pew by any chance? I can't remember. Because he scared me. He was, he was so, so tall. tall. He still is tall. But, um... I know, but as a way, he's like a giant. Yeah. Uh, I had a child and it's not really funny, though. Mine wasn't funny. I put a spoon but, in the um, video recorder. If, if you're old enough to remember, like, serious Andes or serious desert or serious Arctic, Arctic any of those shows, um, I got a... We were... Like, they were the big show on CBBC. Um, but I remember getting a video camera for Christmas one year. And it had a night mode thing on it. And so Boxing Day we always went over to our cousin's house and we were like, oh, we pretend to record like serious jungle or something like that. So we went into the attic and um <laughs> I remember like it wasn't overly dark, you could still see where you were going and the camera, the like video camera whenever it was recording, like infra like infrared night mode, there was two like red lights that you could see. So it wasn't dark at all really. Um, and I remember, like, Fern, Fern, Fern Cotton. Mm -hmm. Fern Cotton was the, like, voiceover on one of the shows. I can't remember which one it was. I don't think she did all of them. Anyway, that's irrelevant. She said in one, just like, using special cameras, we can see exactly what the, ki what the people are doing. Yeah, whatever. What they're doing. But they can see nothing. And I was just like, I am using that. So I tried to copy her voice and it just was funny because everybody could see, like everyone, like all our cousins and stuff could see the camera and we just had to pretend not to. So we kind of like looked at the camera and then sort of felt forward. <laughs> Is it, Do you remember that? There's something there. Yeah. I feel a presence. And yeah, I just thought it was hilarious because like, I wish I could find it now and just look back on it. And oh, how that was stupid so it looked. cringy. <laughs> Oh, I imagine. It sort of makes me cringe just thinking about it now. Do you not have your old video camera in your cupboard? No, no, not that one. It's the one before that. The I still one that think you should... The one that took the tapes. I still so. think you should look at that one and see the cringy stuff that's on the... It's just holiday things. Is it? Yeah, it's mostly just Lanzarote. I'd like to see that. Um, 
everyone from the nativity. Um, the elephant in the room, Chloe, you wanted to talk about um, that because they mentioned it on set and I don't remember it, but everyone else seemed to remember it. Where oh, did yeah. you get that light up house? Poundland. It's really nice. Um, but anyway, Very right, nice. so it was like years ago after Alexandra Burke won the X Factor. And she'd been in America for a while and she was coming back home with a new song that talked about the elephant in the room. And there's an interview that she does and she's like, yeah, the elephant in the room, it's a phrase they use in America, but like, I'm bringing it over back over to the UK. And she was chatting to it, it must have been like, it was an English show anyway. Yeah. And the English people were like, no, we do have that in the UK. It's a pretty prominent phrase. <laughs> And she was just like, oh, well, I've never heard it, so maybe it's just some people that have, that know about it, but I'm bringing it back over. And I was like, <laughs> I don't remember it going out live, but I saw it, like, someone brought it up last week on, like, Twitter or something like that, and it oh, went right. viral again. Um, and they I were didn't even see it last week. I don't and clue. they were talking about it on set, and I just remembered it. And then it made me start thinking of the, fra the actual phrase, the elephant in the room. And then I was like, something should just be, like, dinosaurs in the room. Right. Because dinosaurs are bigger than elephants. True. And they're also extinct. Yes. Like, like no, like, dinosaurs literally have no reason to be in a room. Because they're dead. Like, an elephant, okay, right, depending on the room, there could be an elephant in the room. Yeah, if you're in a zoo. Yeah. Or, I mean, you know, some kitchens in Africa might just, an elephant might just <laughs> blunder in. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have any spare milk? <laughs> Can I borrow a cup of sugar? <laughs> Oh, there's a cup of sugar these days. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna do Bakers. that. <laughs> I'm gonna run up to up the road. And Half a mile. <laughs> Sorry, can I borrow a cup of sugar? Cheers. And then run, run back, and then run back up again. Sorry, this is granulated. I need caster sugar. <laughs> I suppose maybe it's a thing in the city. In the city. I right now you just popped your next room. Yeah. That, that is true. But so you think there should be elephants in the room and then dinosaurs in the room? Yeah, like, elephants in the room would be sort of things that, like, should be mentioned. Sort of like, oh, how did you break your arm? But it might be traumatic, so I shouldn't ask that. Yeah. Oh, elephant. Yeah. But, like, a dinosaur is something that, like, you know, sh just shouldn't be, like, a thing at all. Like, you shouldn't feel awkward about bringing it up. Like... So an elephant would be, like, someone's recent divorce? Yeah. But, then, but like, a dinosaur would be... Did you get new glasses? <laughs> I mean, I would call that a mouse in the room. <laughs> new glasses is not a major thing. Do you have a visual impairment? Yeah, that, that would be a dinosaur. dinosaur in the room. Or, did you get beat up? Are you alright? <laughs> it's a black eye. It's just my makeup. Right. I have made that mistake. Really? Not so much like black eye, just like, did you get hit in the feet? No, that's just my, like, that's just my blusher. Silence says it all. Um, it's cold outside, isn't it? It's roasting in here. Are you warm? I'm warm. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to make a complete fool of myself in <laughs> public situations. Okay, so do I. Um, I'm quite glad that this cold weather's coming because I can't deal with this heat. I know, because mum and dad keep on lighting the fires and it's just they're like, no. I mean, like, I'll light the fires all next week, but just this week I've been like, no, I'll not light the fire. Unless I'm told to light the fire. If I'm told to light the fire, then yes, I will obey orders. Thank you very much. Um, but, yeah. It's not even going to be that cold next week. It's just going to be, like, normal, normal temperatures. temperatures yeah. And everyone's freaking out going, oh, it's going to be really cold. But this time last year, there was snow. Yeah. Yeah. This time this year. This time this year. <laughs> we're great at words today. Um, Maybe we're still sleep deprived. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Apparently we're in for a really bad winter. Apparently. 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 I don't know if I... I don't know if I believe that. I. It's hard to predict things. The wind direction could change very easily. Um, I think that's, a, that's near enough us. Have we done everything? Christmas. Yeah, I just want to re-emphasize again. Don't, don't lick your whiteboard clean. Especially if you've previ previously used... No furniture. Um, don't lick permanent markers or deodorant. Um, don't spray sprayable deodorant in your eyes. I mean, I have a visual impairment and I did that. And I mean, got some good laughs though. I don't think it did any damage, to be honest, because I was at the eye doctor the next week and he said that it was just stable. So, 
I did that too, just for, like, we did anything for laughs. I sprayed the stuff in my mouth. You know the way you get the stuff in it, like, you spray it and then it goes powdery? Yeah, that kind of dude. I put that in my mouth. Probably not great. But hey, like I said, got some, <sighs> got, got some, some laughs. laughs. I was a great, I, was, I really enjoyed school. <laughs> I thought we were going to make it through an entire podcast without talking about school. <laughs> oh, have we never done that before? I don't think so. We've no, we haven't made it through a podcast yet without mentioning school and farts. <laughs> we didn't mention pee this week in great detail. I mean, yeah. I just mentioned it now, but... um, Yeah. That, I, yeah, I genuinely think fafting. Um, Fafting. Sorry. <laughs> the R smudged. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for listening. Yep, uh, it's been enjoyable. If you want to get in touch with us, we didn't do a tweet this week to say we were recording, no. get any questions or anything. Sorry. If you do have any questions for our next podcast, you can tweet us at or, skit oh. underscore twins. Yep, or same thing on Instagram, we'll probably more likely put... Uh, Chloe's pulling faces at me because she said underscore and not under slash. You're very supposed good. to praise me for that. You're very good. It's, it's great. I'll give you a piece of chewing gum I think I have in my pocket. Um, if you want to do it properly, it's skit under slash. You're not twins. getting chewing gum. You're not getting a treat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not a dog. I know. I just patted you. <laughs> I just patted her on the head. Um, so that helps. But yeah, um... Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm looking at her weird because she patted my shoulder. I was making it funnier. Not my hand. I was trying to make it funnier. You said I was on the floor laughing earlier and I wasn't. You were almost on the floor. I was close to it, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, tweet us, send us a message on Instagram, probably Face Facebook. Facebook. We'll try and remember to post next time. Um, we also have an email address and it's in the description of this podcast. But yeah, please do send us questions or topics and stuff because it's it's far better crack if we sort of include some of your stuff instead of just things that we think are funny. Yeah. Um, and it lets you get to know us more. Yeah, like even if it's like if it seems like a really silly question, just ask it anyway. Like we love silly questions. Yep. So would would you rather question it? if it's like something about our eyesight, something about like what we do, why we do it, whatever? Why are we so weird? Yep. I mean, that's a good question. Probably the deodorant and licking pen things. Yeah, that's yeah. probably a major influence. Influence? Contributing factor? Contri- whatever. Factor. factor. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I think I'm just rambling now, so we should probably just end this. Cheers very much. Uh, take care, be good. If you can be anything, be nice. Be nice. Yeah. Is that a mountain? What? Benice. Benis. Oh, Benis. Benis. No, oh, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking of, of Ben Nevis, are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say Venice from oh. Italy. Um, I don't know, maybe you just combine Ben Nevis. Benis. Benis. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you should just call it that. Save a lot of... I meant to say be nice or be kind. Just be a decent human to people. Yeah. To everyone. Everyone. Even the Pope. Even the Pope. Bu- He'll bless you if you're nice to him. <laughs> That's not really mean, but no. Um... Bless Pope. <laughs> this has gone badly wrong. So just get out. Be thankful for everything you have. Love others. Make, make good choices. Make good choices. Um, Go well. Peace out. Bye. Peace out, home dogs. Take care. Be good. Go on. Um, sleep well. Go on, my son. Don't get sleep deprived. Yep, yeah, because that this is what happens when you don't sleep. No, I'm going to stop it now because I get really annoyed at podcasts that just drag out at the end. And so, bye.